guys was a you would not even believe the kind of <sighs> stress i put my, i'm putting myself through right now so since we got here in january tisha has been saying she wants a play tent in fact she's been saying this is in nigeria and i was like you know when we travel i'll get you a play tent and she's been asking she's been asking and then when we got here i kept you know when her dad left i said when your daddy comes back from nigeria he'll buy you a play tent and she's been asking for so long and her dad came back and she's still been asking and i was like you know what i really need to get this girl a play tent so this morning when she was leaving for school i already ordered the play tent two days ago and they told me it was going to get delivered today so when she was leaving for school this morning, I said, when you come back from school, you're going to have a surprise. And she was like, is it a play tent? <laughs> She's like, is it a play tent? And I, my I dad and I just looked at each other like, this girl, you're too smart. I was like, I, I shall know I have a surprise for you. I don't know if it's play tent or not. She now did her hand like this. I already know it's a play tent. I already know it's a play tent. And I asked her, I said, how do you know it's a play tent? She's like, because I've been asking, because I've been asking about it. That's the only surprise I want to see you guys she's so grown anyways the play tent i've been waiting for it since morning because i've used my mouth to wear off that she will see it when she comes back from school now the play tent just got delivered about 45 minutes ago and her dad has gone to pick her her dad already even left before the play tent was delivered to pick her from school and they're on their way back and i'm struggling you guys i'm struggling to fix it i really want her to come and meet it already set up but this thing is not play. It's not child's play. Let me show you where I am right now. <sighs> to be honest, there, eh, I'm even happy where I am right now. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> like, I've just set up the base. I've set this up. If I can just fix the... I can't seem to figure out the overhead thing. <sighs> At least when she comes, she will meet it already set up like this. But I want to try and fix the whole thing before she gets here. And um, I go commit myself, you guys. <laughs> And now I can't seem to figure out this damn instruction. Anyways, I'm on the last step, shall let me try and figure it out. This is what it's supposed to look like for you guys. This is what it's supposed to look like. Can you see? Anyways, let's try and see what we can do to salvage the situation. And to now make matters worse, you guys, I'm trying to record a reel for this like i was like i can't do a youtube video that one's just going to be too long i'll just gist you guys but i'm trying to do a reel so i'm recording and my battery is about to die so i keep turning it off and then read instructions and continue read instructions and continue but oh my man anyways let's just do this real quick i'll come back to show you guys when i'm done or if i finish before they come in or if they don't you push i get updates yeah all right you guys i completed it I did. I completed it before she got in and she's so excited about it. <laughs> she's so excited about it, you guys. Ah, oh my. This is the longest, like 15 minutes of my. Who is whistling here now? Emma, ah. it's a Jetta. It's a Jetta? Yes. Who is the person that is whistling here? Eh? Eh? <laughs> What are you doing? What did you guys buy? You, you didn't food bought food. food. You didn't buy food. Yeah. Okay. So, so first a few minutes of my life flashed right before my eyes like this, you guys. Anyways, so glad I was able to do it for her and I kept my promise. I kept my promise so she was able to see it when she got home. That's what's making me happy. Mm -hmm. Now I can finally make dinner. Why are you laughing now? What do you want to she will not even answer me? She said, what do you want for dinner? I don't she will not answer me. What's in it toy me? Baby girl, how was school? Tisha? It, so cool. it was so cool. You figured out how to make new friends. That's good, baby. That's very good. I think we're just going to do. So she eat tacos again tonight. Okay. I think we're just going to. Sorry. You have to be careful there, baby. I have to make. 
want to make tacos. I guess we eat tacos tonight. <laughs> That's the lighting that is supposed to go on it. I didn't fix the lighting. Just manage this one for now. Okay. Hello, sir. Bit bow, I will fix it later, baby. Okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it during Christmas. You know, it's Christmas. We turn on the lights and it glitters and all that. You can live in it. <laughs> Anyways, people. No. I want to eat chocolates. Yeah. I don't have chocolate, too, baby. I want to chocolate. See, that already gave you chocolate. I want to make um tacos for dinner. It's for six. It's almost six p.m. You want ice cream for dinner, baby? You can't have ice cream for dinner, baby. You can't. So, let's make tacos. Not tacos, what am I saying tacos? Tortillas, tortilla wraps for dinner. Just, it's not, not so serious. It's just very fast and easy. Just going to make minced meat sauce and then put some cheese and then warm some tortilla wraps. And we have beans, put beans and yeah, that's it. So we're not going to do rice with it tonight. But it's going to be a Mexican light dinner today. Let's go, baby. shower getting ready to go out to go out i don't know if you guys notice but not all my vlogs are in real time um some of them are some of them are not you know you have to confuse your enemies <laughs> i'm joking i promise you i'm joking that just came out but yeah like not all my vlogs are like in real time so even in a whole vlog like one vlog two three clips may not be from the same day but they look like they're from the same day is is youtube tense you people now youtube tense 
is at the end of the day key way clean. so i might have some clips that maybe at the beginning of the vlog were from like two three months ago that i just never got to upload and then maybe i created a video yesterday and now i decided to upload it so i just joined it together it's youtube themed it doesn't really matter but i don't know why i just felt like putting that out there so yeah the weather like in terms of daylight and stuff has completely changed so um by 4 30 a.m like 4 a.m 4 30 a.m it's already like very bright and in the evening like almost 10 p.m it's still very bright i inside a clip somewhere um i made a video a couple of days ago when i was trying to put Tisha to bed and my daughter was not just listening like she couldn't just understand why she had to go to bed when it was still bright outside it's not still morning it's late in the night you need to go to bed but it's bright outside i know it's bright outside and i can't seem to explain it to you right now but Can I turn off the light and I'm going to show you? I've turned it, off the light. It is. I know it's still bright outside, but I can't explain it to you, my darling. But it is late in the night and you have to go to bed. See, there's no one. See, the fire is going to set down. I can see that. But the fire has to set up. The fire has to set up in outer space, but why is the sun in outer space? The sun is still in outer space. Yes, but. So I was basically asking moms, like, please, oh, I beg, how do you guys get your kids to sleep on time? Because we to check with 9 p.m., uh, 10 p.m. is still like very bright outside, like, like as if it is 6 p.m. So how do you then convince those kids that when you go and sleep without them arguing with you? Because Tisha will argue with you for days that um uh, what did she even say a couple of days ago something about outer space <laughs> something about outer space so that this girl was like uh, the sun is still in outer space so why does she have to sleep blah 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 she just didn't talk the thing plenty like that child. i was like let me just ask you guys also on the air um if you have any tips if you're a mom how do you um get people to how do you get your kids to sleep on time when it's still very bright outside you know oh well wow. oh god you it is god you the summer is really summer in here you guys like it's very hot i didn't even expect it to be this hot i mean it's not yet as hot as lagos but i hear that sometimes it gets up to or even hotter than lagos sometimes go yeah so anyways before i go i feel like i i feel like since i'm I want to be consistent with my vlogs now. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be like posting something that I learned during the week on maybe the last, the last day of the vlog, maybe like Friday or Saturday or something like that. Anyways, so I want to say what I learned this week, and I think I shared it earlier this week on Instagram on my Insta stories. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, don't follow me on Insta stories. See. Insta stories is where you get the quick, quick, quick gist. And then YouTube is kind of like where I expand shit on the gist. So if you hear like a gist on Instagram and you want to know like the, the real details, like the real tea, like the, the main, the main details, then you come, <laughs> then you come on YouTube. But both of them work and they enhance ya. Anyways, and because like interactions and stuff like that, I really love Insta stories. And you know, I'm always asking for one advice or the other. So please, if you want to help my ministry, follow me on Instagram too. And watch out for my Instagram stories. Still don't know what I'm trying to do with my content on Instagram, but yeah. Anyways, so I said this on Instagram earlier this week. And it's one thing that I think I have learned in my how many months of being in this Canada closed mouths don't get fed i like i just I, I just said it like that like closed mouths do not get fed like if you keep quiet in this part of the world <laughs> i said even a drop of water will not enter your mouth and it's not even just about like just having information it's about the quality of information that you get and the thing is that it's always those people that are unassuming that you kind of ignore and just push to the back corner. Those are the people that have the quality information. 
and those information just take you to places you never ever imagined so if you find yourself living in north america in the uk in you know somewhere outside nigeria because nigeria i feel like I feel like people 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 want to share things people are ready to share things even even if even if it is also the city they will share but here this is how everybody's going to be looking at you like this until you open your mouth and talk that's why everybody will look at you like this and they have quality information and i think it's easy for you to mix things up not mix things up but it's easy for you to get sideline because you feel like you know it's we're in first world country and um, the world is a global village everything is online it's not it's not even everything that is online like you will go to a website and they will say so so and so and so let me use maybe tisha's um school like daycare kindergarten let me use children's school kindergarten whatever you go on a, 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 a kindergarten website and they will tell you or daycare website and they will say oh we have no um wait list is full we're not taking applications or we're not taking um any child for summer program or anything and then you know you just randomly be talking to somebody in church or somebody or somebody somewhere and you just be like you know what they said that the wait list is full application is full that kind of thing and then it's like go there in person and you'll be thinking ah are you okay? I should go there. When is on your people, they said it on their website that the list is full. What do I what would they do there? It's not like Nigeria that if you go to government office and cry, 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 they would figure out something for you. Oh more, it's a lie. You will go there and so but something something will will come up. See, let me tell you, one of my friends here, um, he even came, he came to he came to join us in school. About three, four weeks after school had started, he didn't um, start with us on time because he had like, they delayed like his passports, visa issues and stuff like that. But eventually, he still got here. The devil was trying to not make him get here and he still got here. When I tell you guys that this guy is like the first person to get a full-time, full-time, full-time job in all of us that are students or well, Nigerian students in my program that we came together. He's the first person to get a full-time job. How did he get it? He just... He just, he said that day he was just walking to, God had instructed him to just go out and get a job. And then he walked to into several offices on one office district block. The last one he entered was where he got the job. And when he got in there, all he was telling them was, see, you don't even need to pay me. I don't mind. I just, I just want to volunteer. You don't need to pay me. And the manager was so touched. They hired him. They're paying him so well. Like the kind of money that is able to cover his tuition. If you are just um, relied on the, oh, on their website, they say they are not hiring or they don't even have vacancy or, um, you know, they said that these companies don't hire students, they only hire full-time people, you just jones. You, like, I have a testimony on Tisha's daycare to something similar. Like, you just jones, as in, and it's just people that just, have information even if you go to that place and they don't have the information that you need there they will direct you somewhere else but if you keep quiet i are just looking and the reason why this is a big deal to me is because anybody that knows me knows i'm very shy yes i am very shy forget i do youtube because i'm talking to a camera i'm very shy and um i keep to myself especially my information i don't like to put my information out there like people on youtube know me i don't like to put my information out there you might think you know everything going on with me but very few people they always say itself that maybe me will not tell you what is going on in that life you might think because you watch me on youtube you know every intricate detail of my life you don't so because i keep quiet like i i i don't i don't like to put my life out there or my matter out there right it it's it affected me when i just got here and I've, i'm just now learning to open my mouth and talk even my husband like my husband is quiet but he's more outspoken than i am so he can easily you know call up somebody somebody just met say, oh please can you help me with this and me ah I'll just, and it's not a thing of pride. It's just a thing of, I'll be telling you, I don't want to disturb the person. I don't want to stress the person out. I don't want to, you know, you know that kind of thing. It's not like pride. It's just like, ah, I don't want to stress the person. I don't want the person to say, is it because of, uh, uh, I want to go and carry a mirror. You are disturbing me for, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm that kind of person. 
so that's why this is a big deal to me because i'm now having to step out of my shell and open my mouth and talk like anybody that i see i cho -cho 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 my matter to not in a gossipy way not in a oh i'm emotional you know ah, i want to die help me no but it just in a conversational way just in a because now i realize that you never know the kind of information that that person can be sitting on you just never know so keeping quiet um Close mouths will not get fed. That is what I have realized this week. Oh, if I realized it a while back, but I think it just came to me this week. Anyways, that's the end of my TED talk. <laughs> like, all in all, Sha, I just pray that God helps you. Help, God helps each and every one of us to be able to realize the things that we're supposed to do in order to get the things that God has promised for us. Because at the end of the day, God in heaven is not going to come down and be the one to do it. Because it's human beings like you and I that he's going to use. So I just pray that at the end of the day, we get God helps us and gives us the wisdom to be able to act and be proactive about things, to be able to get the blessings that God has promised for each and every one of us. Okay? Amen. Amen. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>